What's going on everybody? There is a brand new way to get resets in Rocket League Sideswipe. The things you will need are a PC, you will need blue stacks, and you will need a program called REWASD. All this stuff will be linked down below, and I have to give full credit to my buddy here, Wallaby Gangsta. He uh, is going to walk us through how to download and get it set up. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right. Thanks, Yoda. Yeah, all we need to do here is get these two programs to start. REWASD is going to require a PC restart. We've downloaded it here preemptively, but just be aware that you will need to get that going to get started here. So we're going to actually start in BlueStacks first. So we're going to move right over to there. And we're going to start by going into what are the game controls of BlueStacks, which is the fifth icon down from the right. Perfect. And then we're going to go right to Open Advanced Editor after that. And we're going to get into the Controls Editor screen. We're going to go to the top middle here and get the keyboard and mouse. And then once we're there, make sure that your space and shift are over the top of the jump and boost controls at the bottom here like we see and then we're going to click on the right side of the screen away from all the other keys and then we're going to hit the x button on your keyboard you can make this key binding whatever you want but if you want it to be the same here it's going to be just easiest if you use x and then we're going to save down at the bottom right once we've done that we're going to x out of the controls editor and then we're going to go into this rocket league side swipe settings up at the top right and we're going to go to show options we're going to go to accessibility and we're going to click the single press air turns button right there. So we have the check mark and then we're going to get out of the settings after that. And we should be good to go into REWASD next. Once we get that open, you're going to actually have to go to the top right and hit the three lines there. And you're going to want to go to PS4 remote play. We've already done that here, but just make sure that you do do that to start. And once we're here, we're going to actually go to whatever you use for your boost. In this case, Yoda does use X, so we're going to click the X button. Or this will be the square button if you have a PlayStation controller. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit left shift on your keyboard. And it's going to bring up that mapping right there. We're going to click off of that once we've done that. We're going to hit the A button just like that. We're going to hit space and click off again. That way you have the left shift and space. If you do use B or circle if you're PlayStation, you just, all you have to do is you just have to put left shift on that button instead of the X. We're also then following this going to go to the right side of the REWASD screen. Yep. And we're going to click the gamepad back buttons. We're going to go to L2, click that, and we're going to hit X. And that's going to be the key binding that we set up on our blue stacks. And once we've done that, we're all good to go. We're going to go to the top left and hit apply. Once that's done, make sure that on the bottom left, it does say remap is on. That means that it is active. And we're going to go back into BlueStacks. And we're going to make sure that this works properly. So we should be good to go. We're going to go into training. And let's see if we can get that 180 air wheel working. Perfect. If you do go into training and you realize that you're actually having to double tap to get it, there is one really quick fix that we can actually go to apply. So we're going to head into REWASD. And in the bottom underneath the control, you're going to see a little bit of a wand. And we're going to click that and we're going to go to Virtual DS4. Regardless of which controller you have, this is the one you're going to want to do as it does connect to BlueStacks the best. Once we've done that, we're going to go up and we're going to hit Apply. And now that it's saved and everything is on, we're going to go back into BlueStacks and make sure that we can do this without the double tap. And just like that, it does work. Um, one thing to note is that uh, your buttons are going to show on screen unless you turn the opacity all the way down. In order to do that, you can go to Show Options, go to Configure, uh, click on each of these and turn the opacity all the way down. Um, one thing to note is that the joystick is always going to be showing. There's no way around this. Um, one thing you can do is make the medium uh, small instead and it's very minimal and it's not that annoying uh, but just like that you can get resets uh, like no one's business it's actually insane so wallaby thank you so much uh, where can they find you if they're interested to watch your sick gameplay 
<laughs> of course, yeah. So I do stream over at twitch.tv slash wallaby underscore gangsta. I also have a YouTube channel that is just wallaby gangsta normally, uh, where I'm going to be posting tutorials of, on how to do certain different side swipe things, as well as going to be posting some gameplay videos coming up here pretty soon. Uh, a little bit newer to YouTube, so that should be coming in over time. But yeah, that's where they can find me and uh, check out some of the side swipe content I'm doing. Amazing. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys later.